hey everyone welcome back to welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to be giving you guys an update on my life lately and basically what's been going on so please don't forget to like subscribe and also to share so let's get straight into the video so my first point is struggling with adulthood you guys growing up is a scam i don't know who told us growing up was cute it's not cute it's not nice it's not I, I don't even like the age i'm turning this year so it's nothing good there's nothing good about it anyway let me give you guys a recap right if you know me if you've known me long enough you know i own a nail page you guys should follow it it's called nails at all so i own a nail page right and then this year um one of my visions was to get a store for it right so i got a store let me not say i got a store because i paid for a store and we had started um renovating the store right like everything was going well until the owner of the store called me so the thing is this right i got a store through someone through an agent so we talked to him i paid the price and whatever so i think a week later this agent calls me and he says there's a bit of a complication with the store so what we're going to do is um you need to hold on a bit with reconstructing the store I'm like okay no problem then a day later this man calls me and he says what name does your eight money bring i'm like what then he, i gave him my name anyway because i didn't want to argue about it and then he says okay i'm about to send the money to you i'm about to refund the money i don't think the store you can have a store anymore i was so depressed i was so sad mind you this was i think a week before my exams when this was going on and i had already started buying stuff for the store like paint preparing for the doors different type of things because i already made payment for it right so i told myself i'm like what like at what point did they say adulthood is kind to you because ev like i talked to my dad about it and my dad was saying maybe it's just not the right time for you to open a store the thing is this i don't want to finish school be done in school and then have to do all these things when i'm done i want to have them started before i'm done in school just so when i'm done i can easily just be there like physically there yeah so other than that i think i've been talking about moving for a very long time right finding a house is hard finding a cute house is very hard and I just, I really, I, I, I've never gotten why it's so hard to find a house. Like, look, the money is available. I'm available. Why is this house hard to find? So basically, just finding a space where you can do your stuff is hard. Because I tried. Also, the thing for me is, there are different stores that I could go to. I had other options. But the thing is, I'm a student, right, at Unza. And I needed a store that's closer to school. So my point was, I needed, I only had... I think three yeah i think three locations where i could make that store because i needed to be so close to school just so i could not really multitask but i could move around the day like have my classes and still go back to the store yeah and that didn't go well so i told myself i'm like let me hold on on this program until we find the store but i still do nails other than that i still i didn't because initially before i started looking for a stall I, I was already doing nails so i still do nails just not a physical location yet right then the second thing is i want to say i have come to an end of an era if you have watched my previous videos if you haven't watched go and watch them right when i was talking about 2022 recap i said 2022 was so hard for me emotionally and i just want to say i've come to an end of that era because we have healed from everything not completely but we are in a better space now i am happier now and yeah so the thing is this right you know how an end of an era comes with dyeing your hair doing different i tried to dye my hair and it didn't go good i tried to dye my hair and it didn't go very well I, my strands were so weak when i was done dyeing it also someone told me before you dye your hair you need to bleach it right that's where the mistake came i bleached my hair and then if i have a video i'll put it here i bleached my hair and it didn't go well i had to turn it back to black same day same day you guys i had to turn it back to black yeah 
So instead of doing that, I decided this end of an era should come with a nose piercing. So I think it means I've never really liked the nose piercing, right? And this is why I think it's a new era. <laughs> this is why I think it's a new era because I've never really liked the nose piercings. I've always been the one for, no, let your face look cute. Let your, I, but I think it looks good on me. I don't know why it's not very visible. I like that, in fact. I like the fact that it's not very visible because I don't want something big on my nose. I have a tiny nose. And I don't think something big would go for it, right? Yeah. And then I think the last time we talked, I was talking about being in fourth year, the cons, the pros, being excited about it and whatever, right? I still haven't gotten my results yet. But like I said, we're in fourth year, whether we like it or not. <laughs> I still haven't gotten my results yet. But um, what I've come to realize about um, being in fourth year or just basically this year is... I want to take each step at a time. I don't want to rush things. I want to take my time. I want to experience everything as it comes. I just want to be happy. Like I just want to experience everything one step at a time. I don't want to have to go through certain things faster than everyone else or go through certain things slower. I just want it to go smoothly. So I have come to tell myself like, calm down. You're not the first person who's been in fourth year. <laughs> Come down and take each year as it comes. I had a conversation with someone, right? And they were telling me about um, if you plan, like I want when I'm done, I want I want to work, like work in a corp like a corporate job or in an office working for someone, whatever. If you plan like that, and then when you're done with school and you don't get that opportunity, you are going to be traumatized. It's going to affect you. So the best thing to do is be open about anything. Be open about anything that's going to make you money. Right? This world is dynamic and it's changing all the time. So be open and say, if this doesn't work, I should do this. Yeah. So after that conversation, I think I'm kind of calm about it and relaxed. I'm saying, I'm telling myself, if it doesn't work the corporate way, it will work the street way. Yeah. So I'm glad I'm in a better space now concerning me being in fourth year and me basically just running around the entire year wondering what's going to go on and the like. Then I want to tell you guys about my skin, right? Right? If you've known me for like a year, two years or whatever, past two years, my skin has been so terrible. Chimuka, this does not belong to you, please. <laughs> anyway my skin has been so terrible right so bad and then now i'm in a better space like i completely love my current skin I co i'm completely in love because let me put pictures here right i think i mentioned this in most of my videos um growing up in my teenagers i would suffer from acne only on my forehead right so i knew how to treat it because it would go away in a week it would go away in two days three days just like that so i knew every time it came i knew this is going to go but when i started having acne on my cheeks i became so insecure because i'm like how is this happening to me i've never had acne in my cheeks right how is it happening now and what do i do to get rid of it that's what we're going through the past two years right and then if you look at these pictures right here, my cheeks are completely bad. Also, my skin looks very dry because I was trying literally anything that came my way. I tried, I, I, went, to a I went to pharmacies, I went to different places, like what's going to work for my skin? So I was trying different things. And then I think I made mention in one of my vlogs to say um, that the, the, whatever cream I was trying, the cream that I was given, makes your face very dry it makes your face so dry and i this is where i look really white on my face and even when you put anything on your face like oil or whatever it's still going to look dry because of the creams that you're using yeah so other than that i stopped using that i stopped using that and then i went to a pharmacy and someone prescribed let me show you guys someone prescribed this for me right it's called acne so yeah someone prescribed it for me and i said let me try right and then i was told when i went to buy it at the pharmacy i was told do you know how to use it and i'm like no someone just told me to use it and they're like okay 
so the thing is this don't use it every day it tends to dry out your skin so don't use it every day avoid using it every day and um if possible use it twice or three times in a week i'm like okay cool so me i knew i was not going to follow that because i wanted results fast so i started overdoing it like i would do it first of all when i got it right when i first got the first cream i would put it in the morning in the evening in the morning in the evening in the morning in the evening a week later i was so white on my face and my face was reacted so bad like it was in pain i was constantly in pain and this was during the hot season so the heat was on my face <sighs> i was just like at this point i don't know I, I i don't know what we're going to do so i reduced using it right and when i stopped i could even i could still see the change anyway like the acne was gone i just had like black spots and the like yeah so i started using it once in a week once in a week and i went back to using vaseline so i was using vaseline like on my face only vaseline and then and this once in a week sometimes even twice in a week but whenever i remembered i would use it right and now i'm proud to say we are where we are today other than that someone plugged me on this you guys this baby right here right i don't use this for my face though i use it for my body someone plugged me on this and let me tell you guys i'm never going back to using whatever i was using all the other oils like this is so good my skin glows so well and i'm just like what took me so long to discover you like it's so good because my skin glows and my skin is retaining too so what the problem is i had been experiencing um my skin became dry anyway because i was experimenting different things on it this year i want to use this lotion i want to use this soap i want to use this yeah so it became very dry and now i'm trying to get it back to normal and i'm proud to say we are doing well in that aspect like it's just going so good and then lastly lastly i want to tell you guys one thing right the quality of the videos is about to improve do you know why do you know why not only the quality the content is about to get better do you know why i said do you know why you guys, I got a new baby. I got a new baby and I'm happy to tell you guys that my content is about to get better because we have a new baby. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. I'm not... Right now, my heart is jumping even if I'm looking cute. <laughs> yeah, even if I'm looking like I'm not excited, I'm very excited about this because if you know me, I want, I've want. i wanted this phone for so long. I wanted this phone for so long. I've been telling my dad, give me this phone, give me this phone, give me this phone. And he finally got it for me. Right? Yeah, so this has finally brought us to the end of the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also to share. Bye!